Hello, what's up, you two photographer Ronnie Sweet and Archer. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a very easy way and simple technique of how you can easily get better and uniform skin tones in your images using just Photoshop. So, if at all you don't have Capture One, in this you can simply use Photoshop. If at all you understand the easy way of masking in Photoshop, and in this we're just going to be using a very easy tool that is embedded into Photoshop and that is known as the gradient map tool in Photoshop. So simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel. So you can see this is the image before and you can start to have uneven skin tones around the image and you can see the after and here we have uniform skin tones. So this is what we are going to be achieving by the end of this very tutorial, so I'll just come and simply delete this. So, in order to achieve this kind of image, make sure that you understand that we're going to be using gradient maps. So, just come to the adjustments right here. And if at all you don't have adjustments here, simply come to window and simply make sure that adjustments is selected right there. So, just come and select adjustments right here. So, just come to the adjustments and simply come and select the gradient map and you can see this looks weird it looks awkward so we're not going to be using this just come right here and hide or deactivate that by hiding it right here and after hiding it simply come and make sure that right now the layer mask is selected so just come and make sure the gradient icon has been selected and when it is selected we are now going to be good to go so just want to sample colors from this very image regarding the skin tone from the mid-tones, the shadows, and the highlights of the skin color of the model in this case. So in order to do this, after selecting the gradient icon right here, just come and simply single click on the properties, just single click on this color, and it's going to open up the gradient editor. So under the gradient editor, simply make, make sure that the gradient type is set to solid and the smoothness set all the way to 100 percent with that taken into consideration we are now going to come and simply start mapping from the shadows so this is the shadow area the left hand side and this is the brightest or highlight area of the colors that we want to sample so just come right here and simply single click or if at all you want another option, you can simply double click on this stop right here. So when you single, you left click right here, just come and simply click once again on the color area and it's going to open up the color picker option or gradient window right there. So make sure the sample is set to 3 by 3 average because we want it to be precise. So we just want to sample the darkest part of the skin tone. So we are going to zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard and you're going to hover around and look for an area that is dark. So the darkest point of the skin tone, I feel like this is the darkest point of the skin tone of this model. So that is okay. Just come and hit okay. Then we are going to sample the brightest point of the skin tone by simply left clicking on the brightest point and simply selecting color right there. And now choosing the brightest point of the skin tone. So we are going to sample the brightest point. So we're just going to sample. I think this is our brightest point of the skin tone. So I'm just going to sample right there. And after sampling the brightest point of the skin tone, hit OK. Then make another pointer in the middle right there. And make sure you type in 50 so that this can be the midpoint. And now click once again on the picker tool then come and click once again on the color and sample the mid color or the mid tones of the skin i think that will work for the mid tones and simply come and hit ok so right now we have sampled the skin color from the darkest mid tones and to the brightest point of the skin tone and just come and hit ok so usually what we are going to do we are now going to come back and now activate this layer or the gradient layer and you can see this is affecting the overall image 
And usually what works best for us is we have two blend modes that are going to work best for us when it comes to this kind of technique. So just come the blend mode and change it from normal. The first blend mode is going to be known as soft light. If soft, soft light is not working for you, the one that will work for you is going to be known as the color blend mode. So for this case, I'm just going to be using the color blend mode. And you can see now the color grading is all over the image or all over the photo. And we only want the colors to be on the skin tone. Remember I said you have to understand masking. So in Photoshop, black is going to hide and white is going to reveal. That is why this white layer mask is displaying the colors all over the whole image. So we want to hide the colors and later on paint them back using a white brush. So make sure you come right here on this layer and click and make sure the white layer mask is selected. Then you can come and simply press Ctrl I. You can use Ctrl I for Windows. Then for Mac, it is Command I. And that is going to hide the colors from the image. Then make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. Or you can switch or reset that back by pressing D on the keyboard. So, or click right here. So to switch between black and white, you can use x on the keyboard and that is going to switch between black and white or you can use the arrow key so right now we want to paint using a white brush so make sure white is the foreground color right here then come and select the brush tool and make sure the hardness is set to zero percent and make sure the opacity is at hundred percent make sure the flow is also at hundred percent then the blend mode make sure it is in normal and with that we are now going to start painting on the skin of the model so you can use the bracket keys to increase on the size of the brush depending on the area you're trying to paint on. So I'll just come and paint. So don't mind if at all I paint extras. So I'll just come and paint. So I'm making sure that I paint on every area that has or contains the model skin. So you have to take your time trying to paint. And I would recommend that... This can be done faster if at all you have a graphics tablet and not a mouse. So, so I'll just come and paint just like that. And as you're seeing, I'm painting extras. And I want to show you how you can easily erase or paint away from the extras that you have painted. So you can see right now the skin is now uniform. But we have painted extra areas that we did not want to be affected in the very first place, like the eyes, some part of the cloth, and the background. So in order to eliminate that, make sure you come right here and switch the brush back to black. Remember, black is going to hide. So we just want to hide the extras that we have painted onto the background. So you can use X on the keyboard. Reduce on the size of the brush by using the right bracket key on the keyboard. And with that, you can now come and just paint away the extras just like that and make sure you leave only the skin with uh, the color effect that we just created just come and paint it away from the model's outfit just like that and you can see with the graphics tablet it is very easy and faster and really precise so i'll just come and paint just like that come this other side and also paint so basically we are masking so just like that paint it out from the extra areas i think that is okay and also come this other side and also paint and eliminate uh, the color from those extra areas so we are using a black brush to erase or rub away the color effect from the areas we did not want to be affected are uh, in the very first place you can see is faster just like that and also come right here and also refine our masking so you can see this looks great and it looks perfect right now so don't forget these straps right here also reduce on the size and with a small brush you can now paint to reveal back uh, the color in those straps just like that so when it comes to a model's face, reveal this back on the lip area, just like that. And also come to the eyes and also perfect the eyes to reveal back the original makeup of the model. So
So after doing that, you can see that now the effect is only affecting the model skin. So if at all you feel like it is too much, you can simply come the opacity and drop down the opacity to the one of your lighting. So at around 70 or 68, that is when I have a nice and perfect skin tone for this kind of image. And this is the before, after, before, after. You can see how uniform the skin has gotten to be. So take your time masking. If at all you want the best results from this kind of process in Photoshop. So this is it for this video. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe. If at all you are watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.